Hello everybody, it's Rhino, and I am here today, if you can't tell yet, Universal Studios Florida. Well, not Universal Studios Florida, I'm here at the Universal Orlando Resort. Universal Studios Florida is like back that way, and then Islands of Adventure is back that way. And then what's most important for this video is this right behind me, the Universal Legacy Store, because that's where we're going shopping today. So. Uh, this store used to be the main Universal Studios store, but uh, then they built this other one right over here, back behind the Coke bottle. We're going to do that in a different video uh, in the future, but for today, we're going into the Universal Studios the Legacy Store. Because um, I just want to take a look around, see what's in here. I haven't been here since like uh, Halloween, the beginning of the Halloween season. So um, they've got props, they've got um, some fun classic where I don't even know. I'm looking at it from right now. I see some Jaws stuff from here. I, I, we just gotta go inside and walk around. So before we do that, I just wanna remind everybody that this and everything that we do here is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. They are experts at helping you plan the perfect universal vacation. You can visit them on the web at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. And when you book with them, it costs you nothing extra on your trip and you help support the channel and all the content that we produce and you keep the universal show running. So remember that. You like the Universal show and you want to see it happening, book your vacation with Dreams Unlimited Travel. So uh, enough of that said, let's get inside. Let's look at some merch. It's all decked out for Christmas right now. So you can see the trees in here and everything like that. You've got some, if you missed it in the park, you've got your uh, holiday merchandise here, all featuring Earl the Squirrel. I do love the graphics and the aesthetic this year. I did a shopping video through the Tribute Store from Universal Studios Florida. If you want to check that out, you'll find that on this channel. But $37 for this shirt. Cute. Cute. I do actually really like this mug a lot. It's a big mug. Merry and Nutty. Universal Studios. But I think it's like 15 bucks, which is really nice. Oh, and I broke it. I don't know if I saw this hat in the, in the Tribute Store, though. $27. It's a snapback. Universal Studios. Got a little Christmas trees on the side. Earl's Tree Farm. That's cute. That's cute. I'm into that. But you'll find yourself the sweatshirt, the kid shirt, all this stuff I kind of already saw before. I don't know what this is. Oh, English toffee assortment. Mmm. Yum. No price on there. Yeah. Oh, it's right there. Boop, 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 boop. That's fine. Oh, these are cute. Oh, God. I just, I'm a sucker for graphic design. I don't know if people are like, eh, those are graphic design. But I just, I love this animation, the style, the aesthetic, whatever you want to call it. I am into it. I didn't see these in the other store either. Just sea salt caramels. I don't know why I keep showing the back. We already know the sign is over here for the prices. I do love that you will always find merchandise for attractions and films gone by. What's up, chums? This Jaws shirt, $25. Actually pretty decent quality. They've been doing these like series of mugs, uh, mugs, glasses. There's like a Jaws one, there's an ET one. I've seen Back to the Future. I think there's a Confrontation one. I have the Back to the Future one. This is $10. I like them, they're decently sized. They're like um, morning juice glasses, that size. A little smaller than like a, it's not like a beer glass or anything. The thing you gotta look around for in this door is like all the photos from like the opening of the park like remember when there was a parking lot out front i came here and there was a parking lot out front when i was a little kid i don't remember this facade or anything like that i was too scared to go on the confrontation ride because i had literally been convinced that it was um like hundreds of feet in the air but oh there's a lot of jaws stuff in here a lot of jaws stuff wicked shack <laughs> that's actually pretty funny $25. Again, pretty good quality. Throw blankets. There's a lot of Jaws stuff in here. Carabiner clip. Honestly, I don't know why more parks don't sell these. This is nine bucks. I know that's a lot of money, but I have a carabiner clip that I have had for 18 years that I keep on my work backpack uh, because they're very useful. Also, like, pop this on your, um, your belt loop and you can swing your mask through it. And there you go. Then you won't lose your mask. Make sure you're looking for all those props because they have the teleportation pod from the Jeff Goldblum fly with the creepy head in there. I love this movie, though. Oh, my gosh. I'm a big fan of that movie. So I'm so happy that's here. Anyway, we got some E.T. stuff. Back to the Future. And I know some of it's like... 
I know like these figures are like the NECA, um, they're really good quality, like, but they're like fairly affordable. They're not like the hot toys that are like hundreds of dollars, but like, look, look at that Marty. The camera, the guitar, the skateboard. I have the hot toys one. This is $45. I feel like on Target, it's like 30. Don't let anyone tell you I said that. Well, that one's crushed. We got Biff. Is Biff always in the thing or is it always the second movie is up there? I think Biff's always in that one. I want this one. Although he looks a little weirdly placed in there. Like he's like, huh? old manning it. But um, my lifestyle aesthetic is Marty McFly and Back to the Future too. If I could dress like that every single day of my life, I would. $45. I actually kind of like the... I like the 80s style graphic of this. I just don't like black shirts. $25 though. I like the price tag on the shirts. They're much better than Disney stuff. I'm just saying it. Yeah, I threw shade. I threw shade. But how much is the license plate? Where I was from Massachusetts, I th believe you had to have a plate on the front and the back so you could never do novelty plates, but 13 bucks for the out of time license plate. I like the plushes. Those are... Come here, man. Jack. There's a wig. 17. Okay, let's handle ourselves appropriately. We're going to do one thing at a time. The shirt. I love the neon on it. Not bad quality. Again, 25. This cute idea. Holy guacamole. There are two proton packs in here. Used in the HHN Tribute Store. These are from, these are when they did uh, from the 2019 Halloween Horror Nights. That's cool. Also, I believe that's supposed to be a terror dog's head if I'm not mistaken, but that is cool. Even if these aren't props from the movie or the show, I still love being this close to like a full size proton pack. I mean, that's cool. That's a lot of fun. And then, of course, accompanying that, right over here, we have some Ghostbusters Pop Finals. These are 19. They're not really pops. They're, like, five stars. Hold on. Let's open it and look at it. Peter Vakeman, little baby. This little baby walkie-talkie. You got your glow-in-the-dark Ghostbusters shirt. That is going to run you $21.95, even less than the other shirts. They also have Ray, which is great. And Ray has his goggles. That is cute. That is cute. Same price. I do like that they have, like, the animated shirts. But their suit colors aren't correct. But it's, like, their faces from the animated show. So this is, like, the prototype animated show. But this one's a little more expensive. This one's 30 bucks. And here is that E.T. glass as well. Aww. E.T. 1990. It's when the attraction open. $10. Also, I love the style of the Universal plushes because I said I like the Grinch and the Max, but, like, look at this E.T. His big old eyes. He's so cute. This is $16.95. I like that retro. Retro design. It's really soft, too. 30 bucks. Also, they're getting into the underwear game here because I saw Ghostbusters underwear inside of Universal Florida. These are $22. They're, like good for them i would never pay that much for underwear but good for them i do really like this car emblem it's 10 bucks novelty plate which is 16 that's like plexiglass or something this is cool though five bucks that's a deal i also want to point out too you gotta look above you because there are um displays above everything and there is doc brown's time institute jacket up here and then there's like biff's hoverboard from back to the future 2 and like that's supposed to be like back to the future 3 and stuff it's cute oh the terminator costume from terminator 2 3d this i feel i have a feeling this guy wasn't as big as wasn't as big as arnold oh no wait it says costumes and props used by arnold schwarzenegger Edward Furlong and Linda Hamilton in the making of Terminator 2 3D. It can't be true. I don't know. Either way, 
I am impressed. I do think it's really great that they have... Um, oh, look at that. Back to the Future of the Ride. I feel like the placards are need to be like slightly readjusted, but either way... Um, like, you gotta look up at the stuff, because that's Elliot, and that's the mom. And you know this because Elliot is the dad in, um, in, um, The Haunting of Hill House. But, anyway, I like that they do still have monster stuff all year round, and I do like the graphic work they've done for it with this, like, pop art stuff. Like, these are kind of cool. Lord knows I don't need more shot glasses. $25. I ain't two shots. Too old for that now. Thirty-five dollars that shirt, and it's not the best quality, so don't recommend it. But I do like the graphic. They also have little figures if you need those, and the lunch boxes. Twenty-four dollars. So they do have this like retro line too, which is great because when I was a little kid, I had a shirt that kind of looked like this. It was just ET. It was like blue. I literally wore it once. I left a sticker on it here. My mom washed it and I never could wear it again because the sticker was like the front part peeled off and all the sticky stuff was left there. But I do love this shirt. This is $30. I like Ringer tea. And they got a kid's version, which is $28. Doesn't seem as fair, but, um, Confrontation glasses. Again, 10 bucks. Not bad. They love this, like, neon retro look. 28 bucks for this, like, hat. Very 90s. They've got the Amity Sheriff's Department jacket. Paint splatter shirt. For 28 Got your ornaments of your classic attractions here. These are eighteen dollars each. These are kind of hefty, honestly. I mean, you could break them if you drop them, but they're like quality. Ah, uh, the mystery collection, it's a pin collection. Oh, Scooby Doo! I like that there's ET underpants too. Twenty-two dollars. Too much money to find the pants. No, thank you. But then you can get the, uh, the like, the pinup banner. That is $13. So this is the thing I question every time I come here, honestly. This, the fanny pack, $26. It's pretty big. I like the strap. See the stars, ride the movies. I don't know. I think it's just one. No, no, no. It's got another pouch here. But I'm like, ah, everybody has this one. But I'm like, you know me in a fanny pack. It's future Sandy Fanny. Okay, so I don't think I straight up knew this. There's a Moldorama in here with King Kong. Six bucks. I bet Craig already knew this and he has this pet. I, I keep saying these are the best things you can get on Universal property for a good, cheap, inexpensive souvenir, but... Look at the Christmas tray. Oh, it's like all classic stuff. Oh, that's fun. All right, so let's walk toward the back of the store because I feel like that's kind of, that's where all the retro stuff is. And then it gets into a little more basic, like, yes, I appreciate the Love is Universal stuff, but then you got your Marvel stuff. So if you missed out on there, but you can kind of find that in the main studio store as well. Um, Transformers. Has dispensers. This is a backpack. It's like a pillow that doubles as a backpack. Genius. 36 bucks. Again, I love the universal plush style because these little guys, like the Hulk and his crazy hair, sassy Iron Man. There was a Black Panther one I really liked, but I never saw him again. So you get troll stuff, you get your Jurassic Park stuff. What I love about Jurassic Park. It's like got this stuff to go with it. Oh, the Dilly Bugle. That's cute. See, it's like a celebration of all their attractions. You got mummy stuff back there. It's like the costumes and the design for it up here. It's cool. You got your Simpson stuff, Minion stuff. All this, we're gonna take a shopping video to the specific lands for, so I don't wanna get too detailed into it. With that said, oh my gosh.
This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is 30 bucks. I do like that they have itchy and scratchy, but... 19. Oh my god, I didn't even look up for the Mr. Sparkle. I cannot believe there's a Mr. Sparkle. That is hilarious. Oh my god. 30 bucks. That is so crazy, because you can just like... Oh my god, that's so funny. That's awesome. Gosh, they're good with the Simpsons March. So we are going to do a Jurassic Park video at some point in the future of the shopping area too. So I just wanted to be like, what did I see here? Look at this chess set. That's $60. Again, don't worry. We'll see all the cool Jurassic Park merch in another video. Because this, I feel like, is like a light smattering of it. This is supposed to be like Dueling Dragon. Before it was turned into the uh, Dragon Challenge for Harry Potter. I do also, this shirt's interesting. This is like, this will end up making me sweat though. Everything makes me sweat. I'm gross. 27. I'm actually surprised this is 27 because this is a really soft shirt and that thing is kind of cool. I actually really like their version of spirit jerseys. I'm not going to lie. I love this Jurassic Park one because it says Jurassic Park on the back and it's got the claws and it's soft and it's only 55 and it's soft. I'm going to emphasize it's soft. I am not 100% sure what this is supposed to be from. Is this from Harry Potter? It says Hagrid's motorbike fabricated for grand opening of Hagrid's magical creatures. Oh, so this was literally just made for the, the opening. Interesting. That's cool because that's from Earthquake, the ride vehicle. And then that's from Confrontation. And then this display of the Harry Potter area is really neat. I'm, here's the thing about the Harry Potter stuff. Again, we're gonna take a whole new shopping video for this, but they knock it out of the park here. I actually really like this coloring of this sweatshirt. And again, soft, high quality, high quality stuff. I've actually always been a fan of the Keeper shirts. I really want the Gryffindor one because I'm a Gryffindor, but. The only thing is the Harry Potter merchandise is a little more expensive. So like that shirt's 40 bucks and I cannot justify a $40 t-shirt. But if I was here on a vacation and I didn't live here, that would be a different story. I've showed these in other videos, again, of the tribute store walkthrough this holiday season, but the like spirit jerseys of the different houses, I am actually in love with these. 65, they're so soft. I just like these so much. Oh, Gryffindor. I do wear a large. I can't, I just wish I could wear it more. Oh, look at the jewelry. Shoot. We gotta do that Harry Potter merch video sooner than later. I haven't seen these bags before. These are new. Ooh. These are fun. These are nice, very nice. And you can get your wands here, of course. And my favorite thing is you can get displays for the wands too. And would you look at that? I didn't even know there was a Moldorama for Bruce from Jaws. Oh, that one's, oh, and it even says Universal on it. Oh my God, I thought my hand was a lot closer to the glass than it was. I don't need it, I don't need it. So that's it, that's just a little preview of the Universal Legacy Store that's here at City Walk in Universal Orlando Resort. I am a big fan of this, I love it. I hope that it stays around for a while. I really hope they just keep pumping in that legacy merchandise because I think they do a really, really good job with that stuff. That's what I will say. Universal, like, they can get niche sometimes with their stuff. Like, I think they 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 know that they they have to kind of have that turnover for some stuff, but I think that they they just they celebrate the history of it so much. Like, look at these like these photos from like the classic, like I know there's the thing where like, oh, that's Hollywood, but that's actually, I believe that was here when it first opened. Um, what's also really neat, that's the ride vehicle from Back to the Future, the ride, which I was fortunate enough to do. I feel like that was my first like big theme park ride that I did. I finally, uh, you know, like found the willpower to get onto it. So um, it, even if you're not coming here looking for merchandise, I th still think it's like a great idea to just stop through and kind of mosey on and look at like the different props and things like that. But like I said, I am looking forward to another, um, like I love right now this collection that looks like stuff like from when I was a kid and I came here and it has been very difficult for me not to buy some of that stuff, but you know, sometimes I'm a sucker for some merchandise, but uh, I also do want to take a minute to point out too that um, on either side of the entrance over here, it's a little harder to see, it's getting darker, but there are these gargoyles 
and these used to flank the um, entrance, I believe, of the attraction, of the attraction, of the park when it first opened. So it really is like a celebration of the park in general. And what's great is that it's like, it doesn't feel redundant because the aesthetic is completely different from the Universal Studios um, store that's on the other side of City Walk. But we'll do that one on another day. And of course, we're gonna go and do um, all the Harry Potter stuff. We're gonna do a merchandise um, video for Jurassic, the Jurassic Park stuff, because I think they do a great job with that merchandise too. So we've got Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, like, there's, there's a plenty of stuff to do. Now that I can be here and do shopping videos here, I can't wait to do shopping videos. Look, I even wore my Ghostbuster shirt just for this occasion. So um, thank you everybody for kind of um, walking around with me and just taking a look at the stuff they had to offer here. Uh, let me know if you thought anything looked cool. Um, I know it was a little, felt a little rushed maybe, a little breezy. I always feel like it feels rushed in the moment. Then I go back and edit these videos and sometimes they're like 20 minutes and I'm like, just kidding. But um, I just get stressed out because sometimes the stores start to get more and more crowded and like people get pushier and we all know what happens to me when people get pushier. I get pushed over. So uh, it is getting a little bit louder because it is the time of the night here. But um, you'll have to check out the store. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And uh, that is going to do it for me. So I hope that you are all doing well. And I will see you next time. Let me know places you want me to check out merchandise-wise at Universal. I'd be happy to visit them. So, um, okay, I'm going to go. I hope everybody has a great night.